Hey friends, welcome back. This is the second half, or perhaps the second third, who can say? I don't really know yet. We'll see how long today's episode goes on. Uh, if I've done even the slightest job editing this video, before this you will have seen all of the secret communications that happened during the week. Uh, I would like to announce that the Emirates of Hakan, in conjunction with the Barony of Lidnev, and the Shak Kingdom have come to what some are calling the Quan Wormhole Peace Accords. Uh, there will be no war between us. Through strategic maneuvering, all three of us will continue to maintain peace around the wormhole, probably, assuming that Pondo doesn't betray us. We're not anticipating that, however. We're anticipating a strong middle game no one has a clue what they're doing. Some of us don't even remember how to play. Going forward, I am uh, of the belief that there's going to be a war at Mechatol Rex, but I guess we'll see whether that happens. Friends, let's check in with all the players here, see if they have any thoughts or questions before we get back to starting. Is it the third round? The fourth round? Where are we at? I think we are on the this third is round. The third, third round. round. Wow. Well, it would be the start of the fourth round, right? Because we've revealed two. Nope. Nope. You do two on the first round, and then at the end of the first round, the... you would reveal, and then at the at end the of the end. second round, you're right. That's. Yep. <sighs> That's it's a big this. game. Yeah, it's huge, massive. Uh, All right, AP, you are the speaker. I am the speaker. You have the first choice of. But I wanted to see strategies. if anyone had any questions or thoughts. Yes. We... Good question. Rules Good questions. Anybody? I will I will resend. How how do I it. just a quick mechanical question? Mm -hmm. So I have the, the, the cards in my hand and they're at the bottom of my screen. How do I blow them up so I can actually read them? You're gonna hold alt while you're over them. That'll give you a blown up version of it. And ah, then you can scroll right. to get further zoomed in. Yeah, but I wanna zoom all the way in and all uh, that. But that works. Alternatively you can press M. And you can hover it over it, and you can zoom in there to get even. Oh shit, that's cool. Dark magic is. Oh, nice. that's really cool. I figured that out the other day. Pondo, you've thank you, my Pondo. Life. I was not that's aware. That's just of that. fun. That is amazing. Agreed. Like, you can see it all the sickens me. Sickens oh my god, me. This is, that's life changing. I'm gonna win the game now because you. Told I me. wish I had known this a year ago when we were first playing. Oh my god. Uh, almost Oregon. That would have been amazing. Thank you I for that. I kind of wish I had a Cancal when I was trying to read all the little yeah. a little sheet. Oh, that would have really helped in Cancol too, because I spent most of Cancol like zoomed in like right over my character. <laughs> I should tell you, by the way, someone is starting to go back and rewatch all the episodes of well, watch for the first time the episodes of Cancol providing expert commentary. I think they're gonna be in for a shock. <laughs> <laughs> They just they just got mostly caught up on Battletech too. I think they were distraught over the season three finale with Molly. Is it happy commentary? Uh it's a uh, super gay commentary. <laughs> <laughs> I mean gay oh, doesn't mean happy. Okay. Kind of commentary. But uh, I I don't think it's the happy definitely. Well, it could well. <clears throat> were they a Shukaku ex Nagato fan? Yes. That's Milch. literally their first comment is, I can't wait for her to say, she's not my girlfriend to her girlfriend. <laughs> <sighs> All right. Look, back on this game. Any other rules, questions, comments about the game? I would like to congratulate Pondo and Sputnik uh, for a successful peace deliberation. So I far. I honestly didn't think it would be possible. I thought for sure Pondo would be like do what i want arthur or else i mean i'm pretty sure no no like it might come to that i'm not revealing anything secret here but it seems like pano just wants to get that victory point for two ships in adjacent system to make total rex well my my question is this if pondo pops through the wormhole and ends up next to my ship correct you will have to fight do we have to fight yes you can start retreating in the first round, uh, I mean, but the you retreat doesn't happen until the end of the round. You not have me pop through the wormhole because you have that ability. I do? 
Yes. He would have to take the diplomacy card to do that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, he has a nullification field. After another player activates a system that contains uh, one or more of your ships, you may exhaust this card and spend one right. token from your strategy pool to immediately stop a player from doing that. True. Does he have a token in a strategy pool? Yeah, yes, I have does. one. Well, that's a good that's a good reserve to have there. But I that's... I'm not considering using the the portal because he can do that if he doesn't want me to. So it's, it'd be just a waste of me activating something to do it. I mean, it would really be me. See, here's the thing. Now that I'm looking at the board. I, I kind of have a deal with cotton as well. And I don't necessarily want to violate that. And the thing is, is that if I retreat, so if I retreat from the wormhole to allow you to come through, I would be losing quite a bit of territory. Now, granted, I still do control this thing here. For now. For now. For now. Um, I so literally has a carrier fire. with an infantry in it directly I, overhead. I wouldn't I... want to retreat here. And this is problematic for a deal that I have made with Cotton. So we'll just see what happens. This is the first I've heard of uh, other players having deals with Cotton. So I'm glad to have this information. Everybody has a deal with me over this one hex. <laughs> I think I asked <laughs> I everybody. I know she she nothing about it. it. The, like, I have a deal with you too. After yeah, 10 yeah, but logged out on last Monday. I got uh I didn't see it because I'd just gone to bed. But like I woke up in the morning and I saw like it was probably ten minutes after we logged out. She was like, please don't um go go over there. <laughs> I was like, okay, that's fine. Look, you know, there's this there's that phenomenon, the high school phenomenon, right? When you aren't sure if your friends are friends with your other friends. Mm. You never know who's got deals with who. I don't know what's going on under the table here, so I'm surprised to hear that other people have under the... Well, I don't have under-the-table deals with anybody. My deals are very overt. Let's just say it's complicated. I don't think any of them were actually deals. It was more of a, please don't go there. <laughs> I'm not giving you anything in return except for my gratitude right, for exactly. not doing it. Exactly. But depending on what happens... I may have to uh, be dishonorable, so we'll see. Whoa! Why would I'm you admit to that? That's listen. That's some worrying shit you just said right there. Well, so what am I supposed to do? Just roll over and let everyone else take over the universe? And I just let uh, me say this. Let me say this, Sputnik. I just crawl into my shell. Let me say this. You know how it is. If you if you prove yourself an untrustworthy individual in one board game, we're gonna know in other board games not to trust you. Uh, that if is... we have a reunion of this show and you've acted dishonorably in the first one, I'm gonna be like, fuck Spoonick <laughs> in the second one. Be like, I'm gonna be all up in your home system the whole time. You're not gonna score shit. Just know, Spoonick, I'm keeping an eye on you now. I'm, just, all I'm saying is that you admitted to untrustworthiness. If I get put between a rock and a hard place, you're gonna turtle I'm, up. I'm, I'm gonna have to turtle up and, yeah. and, uh, Throw that shell at somebody. And you better hope it's not a blue spiky one. Yeah, I was going to say, it's going to be that blue one where you take out the guy in first place. <laughs> you literally are the blue player here. All right. Mm. So I guess it's up to me as the speaker. Pick a card. Any card. I pick the technology card. Backing play, I know. Give it consistent picking of the technology right. card. So Cotton already has her card, right? Yes. So, yes, because so that, she kept it from last time. So that means it's my pick? That's correct. I'll take, uh, I believe, leadership. Ow. Ah, okay. Right? Someone's looking to make big moves. Yes. Well, I okay, need so command tokens. Just, just so you're aware, by taking leadership, I cannot move before you. Your, your turn happens before mine. Yes. So mm -hmm. even though my first move is going to move the destroyer like we promised. Yep. Uh, I can't do it until after you because that's fine. But I also don't have to. I can wait for you to move. It's fine, right? Okay. Yeah. Nope. That's fine. Uh, I'm gonna take construction. Interesting. Oh man, I got a commodity gift for taking that. That's lovely. You got trade good commodities, the gray one, or trade good. I mean, the bad poopy one. The poopy good. Kelsey's got a lot of command tokens over here that just suddenly have just spiked in levels of alarm. Uh, Pondo, are you next? 
Yes. Can I make a deal with you? Can I make a deal to have your card? No. Okay. Um, can't when... trade. Well, there is one way to trade strategy cards, but I can't do it yet. And sorry, the, the the blue color on planets that's influence. Yes. Okay. I really wanted your strategy card, but you took it from me. You know, Pondo, if you had said something, I would have been amenable. Uh -huh. Can I say this? Next round, I will leave it available for you. Okay. I've consistently take... been picking it, but if you are dead set on it, I am okay with letting you have it. In the name uh, of peace and friendship. Okay. Right. Are, you, are you worried that my ships are still in your sector? Or yes, I am. I've been alarmed all week long about that. I've Cotton's spoken with that. several individuals, including Cotton, and she's like, if it was me, Ponda wouldn't attack me. And I was like, but it's me. And she's like, well, if it was me, Ponda would attack me. And I was like, well, if it's, it's me, do you think Ponda will attack me? And she's like, I can't say. And I was like, thanks, Cotton. That was not helpful. I say... don't think so. Yeah, but I I'm don't aware. Know. You, but you aren't offering assurances, and that's the least assuring thing. I mean, I feel like there's going to be combat this round. See ya. I feel like it's I think happen. so too. Pondo and I live together and he's still an enigma to me. <laughs> wow. I like to keep it that way. I can read most people and I can't read Pondo very well at all. It's keeping a smile about 90% of the time. That's what it does. It's because he's constantly stoic. He doesn't like show emotions. Or is it all that right, he so just is, doesn't is it have surprises emotions. too. He has Robot them. Pondo. That's all I'm saying. All right, so it's my turn, yeah? It is. You're the number one player. All right, so I'm uh, going to Do you to have that take... thing at the top that says it's your turn? Yes, I do. Okay, then yes, it's your turn. All right, so I am uh, going to go ahead and activate... Oh, wait, we need to hit the button. Oh, you button. have to put your, put, your, put your thing in your place. Put what thing in what place? Everybody put your card on your, on your desk. Yeah, Pondo. Okay. You but those it. buttons don't show oh, up. Shit. Nope, right. nope. I got nope. you, Pondo. Don't touch my card. I'm gonna fix now, the now problem that I the created. <laughs> so, what do I do now? Okay. Uh, does it have your turn thing at the top? It says end turn. Yes. Okay. Yes. Cool. Now take your turn. At the end of your turn, hit hit end turn. Right. So I'm gonna take three command tokens. Oh Boss. god, damn it! You gotta be quick, man. So one. Oh, now, so do we're doing we're doing this thing. Oh yeah. So you should flip it over. And, That's what you I thought. Should, and you want to hit the uh, play. play. Yes, exactly. The secondary of that? Primary. So the secondary is uh, spend a number of influence, and for every three that you spend, you gain a command token. Correct. So I am also going to, uh, I'm going to flip so uh, I can this guy the here. So do you need to. A fourth command token. Do you need to spend a strategy to activate that? Or is it just automatic? No. Nope. It's automatic. All right. I'm, I'm going to take... flip some planets. I got I got planets to flip. It's influence? Yep. And you can just put the command token anywhere? Six. Yes. Seven. Nine. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to gain three command tokens. Thanks for that, bud. Can you also use trade goats as influence? Yes. Um, you can use trade goods as influence for for buying command tokens. Yes, I was pretty sure I was saving these for something, but I don't remember what it was. So I'm just gonna spend them. <laughs> and that's my turn. All right. Let me get two command tokens. So spending. So spend six influence for two tokens. Yeah, I flipped exhausted two planets and I'm spending three trade goods that I have. Okay. And then uh, it's your turn, Pondo. No, I'm going to spend, spend three more. Sorry, sorry. I'm spending three more. Essentially, uh, get one more. command tokens are, we can put that in either tactics fleet or strategy, yada, 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 correct? Right. Yes. Um, yeah. I may or may not use this. I don't know. So it's my turn? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, I'm going to do the first thing I want to do, and I'm going to activate... Mechatol Rex again. Oh. I'm taking these two. 
this carrier and to infantry men over as well as spinning the six influence to take Mechatolia. Leg the custodian tokens. So that, that gives was... you one point. Uh where's the where's that token? Where'd you take it? Oh, so he gets a victory point for taking Mechatol right Rex? Yes. Okay goes nice. over here so we can see all the victory points I together. also get a second well no it's after the social phase because there's one that is uh, if you don't have six other planets correct yes so to do that you have it has to be at the end of the round or you That's have to have taken imperial yeah the status phase gotcha Mechatol Rex is busted All right. So hit end turn when you're done. Uh, good. All right, cool. Uh, I'm also activating Mechtal. <gasps> Le Gasper. And I am playing. You're moving flank your speed. destroyer out of there. Is that what you're doing? I am. Uh, flank speed. <laughs> After I uh, activate a system, apply plus one to the move value of each of your ships during this tactical action which means I can move one, two, three, as well as one, two, and mm. also these guys. Listen, I thought shit was going to go down. Oh. I didn't realize it was going to be today. Right, like, right now. now uh, before right my now. turn. Right, right well, now. Well, I'm, I'm opening up the book to the space combat chapter because I don't know what's about to happen. I don't we're, have We're going to fight for the first time. Are you ready? So, I'm so uh, glad it's not me. So... so do you I see behind your do you see feet. behind your desk there's this yeah. this roller here so you have uh so pick the ships that you have and hit plus so you have that many on your on your little thing so a you have a carrier and a cruiser. a cruiser yes and i have uh two carriers a destroyer and two fighters no chill huh So two carriers. Oh, it does all the math for you. Oh, does that's so all the math nice. for you. It's beautiful. So I gotta be uh, honest, I don't know. I would like to I would want to roll it out, but let's see. So hit the button that says AFB. That's the anti fighter barrage. So okay. you're gonna So first thing I wanna do is since it's the start, I wanna activate this is the right one. Uh uh, morale boost at the play a plus one to the result of each of your unit's combat rolls during this combat round. You know what? I want to do the same thing. Take that morale uh, boost card and put it on your on your desk. <laughs> Which one, this one? Uh, and by putting it on your desk, it's now going to automatically calculate in your calculator. Okay. You both have a morale boost card? Yeah. Yep. Where is it? I think you might want to hit update. Oh, it's one of your like action card things? Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. Do you need to hit update for it? Because it doesn't look like Pondo's automatically updated. Uh it still say seven by one, nine by two, nine by one. It's supposed to. I, I think if you hit the button it'll do it automatically. Okay. If it doesn't, we'll just add to it, but I'm pretty sure it does. So, well, we, regardless, it's the same result anyway, since we both used it, apparently. I mean, it, it does make a difference. Yeah. Um, right. So you're going to hit uh, AFB. You don't have any fighters, so I'm not going to do anti-fighter barrage because the anti-fighter barrage only hits fighters. So you hit that button. Uh, should I make any other bonuses, correct? Ooh. Okay. It says detected none, so... You got it. Okay, so got you got one hit. So that is going to destroy my... Dest uh, not my destroyer, sorry. My fighters. fighter. One of my fighters, because there's one hit. Some wild shit right there. So then I'm going to reduce my number of fighters to one. Now we're going to roll the one that whoa, says... Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? There's a retreat phase, just in case anyone wants to announce that they're going to retreat. 
No. Oh, no. Yes, you're correct. No. Our, our okay. little cheat sheet. I tells just want to make sure, this. Pondo, that you weren't being, you know, because you have to announce it early, but it doesn't yes, take place until the end. Yes, you have to announce it early. Yes. Uh, I am not going to retreat either. Now we make combat rolls. So you hit the combat button. All right. Just... Uh, all right, combat. And I have made two hits, and you also roll for combat. And it's going to roll for you. Oh! And it does. It does count the morale boost. You'll see. Uh, you have zero hits, and I have two hits. So you Holy need to. Shit. You need to destroy two of your ships. So wait, how how do you know the hits? Where does it show that? Uh, if you hit enter, you'll see the um, lower left hand corner. Lower left hand corner. I'll do carrier. Well, why does it say he has? He said it says hit six, hit eight. So that's what oh, they need to. That's what he needs to yes. get. That's what you need. So uh, hit six, roll to one. Destroyer hit eight, roll to four. Carrier hits on an eight, roll to three. Well, so so on yours it says destroyer one hit eight, roll to five. Right. Hit Advanced eight. Oh, hitters. you hit. Oh, I see. You hit. You got two hits. Right. Got it. It gives a little hashtag, or as us old folks call it, pound symbol. Uh, Did the dice explode? Why do you have an eight and a nine on that one? Because I have oh, two different. Ships. Yeah, she has two. I have two different ships. Well, even if you win this one, you'll have an issue of having too many ships over top of a planet. Uh, that is true. One of my ships will blow up if. Uh, I, one of my ships will blow up if you don't blow it up first. So now we readjust so you only have one cruiser and I have all of my ships still, and then we're going to hit combat again. Okay. I don't really get nothing else. I thought I had something else that did. Uh, nope, that's the environment. Uh, ships can move into asteroid fields. Okay, never mind. It's fine. Unless you have the thing that, <clears throat> no, you don't. I do not. I thought I had something special, but I do not. Okay. You have zero hits, and I have two hits. So I'm gone. Yes. Now, your guys are still on the planet, however. Um, and my destroyer technically does not explode until the end of the round. Uh, but I got three guys coming down. So... Uh, now we're going to change our little things so that they're going to say how many uh, uh, infantry that you have. I have three, and you have two. I was actually about to message you to make an agreement, but you've just ruined that possibility. Never. I am not, not, mm -mm. I did okay. not come here to leave this planet in your hands. That's fine. That's I appreciate fair. you spending. Damn. All of, I appreciate you spending all of that influence so that I can land here. That's. Uh, that's but fine. in true Ruthless. colonial man manner of my human ancestors, uh, get off my planet. Ruthless. Uh, I will say that to you too. But uh, sure. Uh, there, now that's so. Now I've have loaded up. What do we need to do? So. Uh, we no longer have the morale boosts because that was for the the space combat. So I need to remove that card. Yep. We're doing invasion now. Okay, so now we're doing invasion combat. Uh, there are no um, Bombardment. uh, uh, bombardments and there are no PDSs. So we skip straight to ground combat and I'm going to roll now. What happens if he wins the ground combat and you lose the ground combat? Uh, if he wins the ground combat and I lose the ground combat, then he maintains control of Mechatolrax. So, so your ships are just chilling out there? My ships are still chilling out in space. So you have killed one of my guys, but I... Uh, sorry, you've killed two of... Yeah. You got one hit, kills one of my guys. I got two hits, which kills both of yours. Damn. It's bullshit. <laughs> or you've just been uh, getting really lucky. Also, I need to roll one die... Her infantry answer... are better than yours by a lot. Yeah. Yeah, by by yeah. a lot. Okay. She also Roll did get lucky die. by having a lot of ships. You're trying to see if you. I'm just trying to roll a d. I'm, I'm just trying to roll any d. Uh, um, any d10. Yeah, I'll spawn one for you. 
Now you got it. All right, I roll the three, so this does not go back onto my card. So no free extra infantry for you. Yep, not this time. Shocking turn of events. If I've edited this video correctly, <sighs> you will have seen my thoughts here, but just know if I haven't, they are described in the description section of this video. Uh, uh, my thoughts are, my... oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck. Yeah. So, so now, because you uh, took it over, I'm sure you're about to explain it, because you took it over from Pondo, does Pondo lose that victory point and you gain one? or No, but he does lose the card from Mexitol. Sure. And I gain it. Uh, also, because uh, my uh, fleet size is only two, uh, my destroyer exploded at the end of that combat, and I just have the two carriers in orbit. Oh, you couldn't decide to blow up your fighter? No, because the fighter isn't counting against my... Um, right, 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 anyway, right. Anyway, right. I, I could have blown up the carriers, but the carriers are more expensive. Yeah. So it makes more sense for me to blow up the destroyer. So then do you put your token on the Mechatol Rex custodian token also? No. Mm-mm. So um, Pondo, Pondo is the one that, uh, that got it. Got negotiated with the custodians. Right. Uh, so that point is his forever. I cannot yeah. take it from him. That's that is the prestige for having landed there first. I'm but there now. You get a point now for taking it over, right? No. Oh no. Oh no. okay. Oh okay. Cool. 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 So no one else can get a victory point for taking over Megatol Rex. Correct. Okay. Now, later, you can get points for uh, owning Mechatol Rex while you have the Imperial card, and mm -hmm. then actually taking the Imperial action while you're on Mechatol. Gotcha. Okay, but my turn is now over, so... That was a hell of a turn. Uh, let me hit end turn. Sorry, my dog's playing with a squeak toy. <laughs> Adorable. Um, tactics is to move, right? The yeah, that's right. System, yes. That's that's my move. Well, go pull your cards out the deck. You got Zubad and Melon. Nice. And also hit enter. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, pursuant to my agreement as part of the uh, what some are calling the Quan Peace Accords, I am activating the system. I'm moving after a carrier fighters and both the infantry eating at taking these two planets and solidifying the border. What the name of these? Ocean and Raran? That's a funny name for Raran. Where did the planet... Oh, there. You can go ahead and end your turn while you're pushing those out. I'm getting uh, cotton hair cards, but yeah. Um, okay. Wait, I control Quan. Why don't I have that card? So. Oh. Well, yeah, that's a good question. That is a great question. I'll flip it over because I control it. And I'm going to activate awesome. uh, this hex here. And I'm just going to move my carrier. Right there. Nobody's on it. Nobody's threatening the humans. It's just, you know, we're just hanging out right there for now. It's um, no big deal. In accord. Yeah. I told you it was a completely non-threatening thing. I, I believe that uh, we have on recording that I have verbal consent. So nothing bad should happen to me. I cleared out just so you could go there. It's all fine. I do appreciate that. And We're that would be... And now, uh, quick question. Now, can I, if I have tokens to spend, can I just keep spending on my turn? Or is it like, 
spend one tag a turn and then you're done or what? One, one per turn and then you're done. You okay. can get a technology that would allow you to do more, do an additional thing on your turn and be able to do two instead of just one in a row. For sure, sure. Uh, but otherwise it's just one and then you pass. All right, so as for now, my turn is over. I think I lost my plans. I dragged them over here and then I lost them. Is it my turn? Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I had to fix a situation that happened with my lights. My dog knocked him over. I'm sorry. It's also when I lost my planets because I looked over to see what was going on. Did you put them in one of these bags, maybe? Yes, you did. You put them in the I, was, I, I don't know. I was distracted. Yep, you got Thank them. you. Yep. Uh, I'm going to activate my politics yeah. card. Uh, <gasps> cool. I am going to take the speaker token from AP. My God. So uh, don't forget to hit the play button on the back of the district card. Uh, I'm going to draw two action cards when I remember where they are. Oh, cool. This one has exotic plant and animal life. Felon, it does. And the other one mentioned something about whiskey. Nice. Hmm. Neither of those cards really help me out at the moment. Are you, so just to be clear, you're giving yourself the speaker card? Yes. So you spend a strategy to get a... I'm going to spend a strategy action? to get uh, two action cards. Sure, I'll do it. That sounds fun. I will also do that. Well, that's become a popular choice. Draw. Shit, sorry. Well, what's the secondary thing? Draw two action cards. Oh, shit, yeah, I'm going to do that. Uh, action cards. That's secret agenda. Now, if I hover over and press two, yeah? Yep. Oh, uh, it works. It just works. I have to look at the agenda deck. That's the blue deck over here. How do I put them immediately? In oh, I never figured it out. So draw two cards into your hand and then decide if you want them to go on the top or the bottom and in which order. Now you can only play action cards on your turn. Not necessarily. The action card is going to tell you when you can play it. For example, uh, earlier, just a moment ago, yep. Pondo played an action card on my turn because the trigger was when you start space combat. Um, if the action card says as an action, then yes, that does have to be as a... So does uh, that take your whole turn for that time or is it just part of your action? Uh, that would be your whole action for that turn. I see. Interesting. How interesting. Want. Uh, there's one on top, one on the bottom. I assume that's how it's going to work. Because I know the agenda phase is happening soon. Now, if one card says action, uh, AP, did you not move those ships? Oh, you're going to wait till next turn, aren't you? Uh, like I like I agreed, as part of the Hakans, it'll be my second or third action, and it looks like it's going to be the second. So my okay. upcoming turn, I shall withdraw them. Okay. Uh, and that will be it for me. Yes. If an action card says action on it, that means that'd be my turn, correct? That's correct. Okay. 
but you just took your turn of doing doing the politics the action yeah. so go ahead and hit your intern button so that yeah. uh i can have a turn now cool uh so i'm going to use construction um and with construction i am going to go ahead and place uh, a space dock and a pds onto megatol because i think you all saw that coming Y'all uh, may use the secondary to spend one strategy token to place either a space dock or a PDS. Oh, did I have to spend a strategy token to draw two uh, yes. action yes, cards? You, yes, you did. All right. Mm -hmm. Fix that. You have plenty, yeah. though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I did that for a reason. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to buy a PDS. And where can I build the PDS? On any any planet? planet you already own. Okay. Boop. AP, can you either choose or pass? My apologies. A lot of politicking going on. Um. And again, the the technology is that the green thing, a plant with technology. That's a little green symbol. This this little green symbol, yeah. not that green symbol. Right, right, right. Okay. What is the not green symbol? What does that mean? Uh, that is industry. Ah, okay. Some some technology cards and some politics cards will reference um, cultural planets um hazardous planets and oh sorry industrial planets is the other type so okay hazardous is red and and blue is is um cultural and god and again to move fighters do they have to be with a carrier or can they move independently they can move independently if they have a move speed which yours don't uh so they would have to move with a carrier yes well or anything that has transport Sure, sure. Okay. Capacity. Yep, yep. It's all coming back to me. Da, na, 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 na. Yes. But whose turn is it? Cons. Howdy. I'll uh, do my trade thing. Oh, you're doing trade? Mm -hmm. uh, would you like to make a deal on commodities? I've got several nice commodities here. Oh, you want to trade three for three? Uh, sounds great to me. Wait, four. I have four. Do you uh, have four? I will trade four. So uh, choose. Uh, you can choose on the little button thingy who you're giving commodities to for free. Although I'm getting all four of my things. You? Let me tell you about that spice. I mean, some people say the spice <laughs> must flow, but. Uh... So uh, since Cotton refreshed everybody's uh, for them, if you, if you spent a, a command token, for this, go ahead and put it back. Oh. <clears throat> I'll do that. Hmm. <laughs> My next move. To activate my home system and perform the following actions, I draw my carrier and fighter. I would like to produce. Where, where are you pulling those guys from? What? From right where here? did those come from? What these guys? 
So the guys that came back to your home system. Yes, these guys at Quan. They were in Quan and they've headed here. Do you have the improved uh, carriers that have two movements? I have a gravity drive after you activate Ah. the system. Yes, yes, thank you. Just just checking. I have a, a wall of gravity. It's like a gravity wall. Okay. My next plan is to create another carrier and then a number of fighters. I need five batches. So five will give me ten fighters. Total of eight. I can pay eight, and that'll leave me with two left over. And I could buy a cruiser, and that would only be three total ships. My cruisers suck really badly. I don't actually want to do that. Do so. Sorry, guys, I didn't realize this was going to be so complicated. Uh, three. I will uh, pay one trade good. So I'm looking at building three. Carrier. I have two carriers. I only have one carrier left in my box, so maybe I'm not doing that. One carrier, five, ten fighters, which is more than I have. So, is there a more fighters bag? Right, you can build an infinite number of fighters. Yes, that is correct. So, well, not infinite. So, you're limited to the number of fighter. Uh, of, of, six of go. plastic pieces is to how many different systems can have your fighters in them. Um, but there's the fighter bag tokens, and you can stack those tokens underneath a plastic piece for additional fighters. Does that make sense? Maybe. Uh, where are these plastic pieces? Because I need fighters. So they're they're not plastic pieces. They're not plastic. They're, they're um, tokens. Yes. Tokens. Uh, how much is? I don't think you can build that many fighters. Is the thing. Okay. Walk me through. Hey. Because you can only build a number of pieces equal to uh, your uh, orange value on the planet uh, plus two. That's what the space box okay. says. So four. So yes. I could build one carrier and six fighters, which is what I currently have no. out. No? You can build one carrier and three fighters. Because mm. even though even though fighters are two for one, each one still counts towards your build limit. Interesting. All right. I shall build a carrier and three fighters, and I guess the Fourth one just goes nowhere. Yes. Doesn't get built. I'm gonna take that trade good I spent back because I clearly spent it. That's not a trade good. That's a technology card. Those are very different. Yes, they are. Okay, so I only need to spend three, four, five. Uh, Sarween tools means I need to spend four. So I only need to activate two planets, which. Like I'm way under producing, but I got all my carriers on the field now. Hondo, desperately hope that you don't betray me. I'm now ending my turn and I'm gonna take a look at some messages because shit has happened. Oh, it's my turn. Uh God damn it. Uh, I just walked out. I hit the wrong button. All right. 
No one's looking at your cards, hopefully. I'm, um, I'm coming back. I was I was searching through my technology deck, and I the X's are right next to each other, and I hit the wrong one. Uh, Pondo, I'd be willing to make some trades for you. With okay. you. Uh, the three cards for the two cards is acceptable. I would also be willing to swap commodities with you, as I have two commodities uh, remaining. How about I do the I give you two commodities. Yeah. Uh, along with the. First two cards that I mentioned. mentioned. Uh, Here's the particular rule I was quoting, by the way. I will agree to that. That's still reasonable to me. Here are those two that cards. Was, sorry, I, uh, I was watching my light. I was hit again, seeing if it would fall or not. I am back. Here's my two trade goods. My dog's having a little bit of a party near Here's his lamp. Two cards. Dog party. And there is your two commodities that will be your. Uh, uh, I find this to be an equitable trade, sir. Hey, Kelsa, I think you would enjoy my dog's squeaky toy. <gasps> oh my gosh, and I love it! <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Very slobbery, I have some regrets. <laughs> Go to the hand. Okay. Well, I know what they are. Uh, you know what it is. There we go. I was just trying to stick them in the hand. They wouldn't stick into the hand. That's fine. I see. Uh, for my action, I'm going to activate the hex that AP has moved to, and I will honor my agreement and not attack him. I thought you were going through it to the nebula. I am eventually will go through it. And sorry, so right before I logged, <laughs> just a quick question. Okay. Yeah. Right, right before I logged out, it said it was my turn. Did it skip my turn? Oh, I think it did. Uh, yeah, because you would have went before me. Yeah. All right. Why don't, so let's why don't you take your turn I'll, right I'll now? No, I'll just I'll take my turn after Pondo is done. That's fine. Yeah. Just don't hit next turn until after Spoodnik is done with his turn. Problem okay. solved. Go ahead and because I did what I wanted. You're good. Yep. All right. Uh, I'm going to spend a tactic to do some production. So and... you don't put it in your bag. You put it on the on the hex you want to produce in. Uh, okay. That's easy enough. Uh, right there. Okay, and let's see. This is the yellow number, right? And I can add all the yellow plants I have, right? Or yellow numbers I have, yeah. Right, so yes. Three, yeah, four, on everything four, that's still face six, up. Mm -hmm. Seven. All right, so I have eight points to work with. I also have a card that is minus one on the cost. Um, so that's the total cost overall. Right. Also, hey, friend, uh, yes. dear sweet turtle friend, uh, how would you feel about trading some commodity of my commodities for some of your commodities? Four for commodities for four commodities? We both get four trade goods out of the deal? Yeah, that sounds good. Don't even bring them over. It'll just flip them on your sheet. <sighs> Shock. Um, okay, so I'm going to build... Uh, a cruiser. Where am I doing this? Right there. Uh, two fighters. One, two, so that is now three that I've spent out of eight. I might not spend all eight. Uh, I'm going to build a carrier. Now, with, your, with the planet that you're producing on, you can only produce a total of five items. 
Why is that? Uh, same thing I was telling you, P. So your uh, um, your oh, because... space dock is on. Um, actually, you have your sp your space dock should probably be on this planet. This one, because yep. you want it on the one with the higher yellow. Right, color. right, right. So it's gonna be it's gonna be three plus two is a total of five. Five, right. So That's I've made I've made three units now. Yes. 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 Okay, so I can put two more out there. Right. Uh, I'm going to build uh, two infantry at a cost of one. Uh, boop. All right, so that is my unit limit. Ah. Uh, flip over. There you go. All right, so I spent uh, one, two, I spent five, but really I only spent four, correct? Because of Sarween tools, yes. 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 Okay. One, two, three, four. All right. Paid for. You can go ahead and hit that uh, end turn now thing, Honda. Awesome. Okay, uh, so on my turn, I'm going to activate my home system and I'm going to build there. I'm going to build, let's see. Uh, so for uh, for four, I'm going to build a dreadnought, and I'm going to spend one more to get two more fighters. No, stay there. Spend these. Okay. So one dreadnought and two fighters. Pick these up. Put them in my home system. Cool. Uh, that's my turn. Uh, building is tactic? Uh, yes, you would activate a system that has a space dock and then you may move any number of ships to that system. The last thing that you do on the activation is build. And you want the the one with the highest yellow thing, right? Yeah, uh, the highest yellow number is the one that is the. So yeah, so on Lodar, it's uh, a total of five that you can build. Five things. Five things. Yes. Okay. Five physical objects. And where's the little price list for this? Down here oh, on your board. Oh, okay. But making so, two infantry is like free, right? So two infantry costs one, and like since you, you get Sarween one tools. for free because of Sarween tools. Yeah, so yes. Yeah. Uh, Cotton, I'd like to initiate that trade now. Oh yeah, sure. Uh, here is a trade good. Fell through the table. Here you go. Thank you. Uh, I have more than seven cards, so I need to discard a card now. Where does that go to? Uh, the discard pile is over next to the draw pile. It is face up. spend my like planetary resources to do these uh yes you can spend either trade goods or the yellow numbers on your planets you can flip over the planets to use their yellow number value okay don't forget that uh to use the technology to use your special technology power you're mm -hmm. gonna need to have six money to spend yes, yes. I have not forgotten about my special my special power. But I do know that I should have been spending my planets and I wasn't before. I learned that. Oops, didn't want to do that one. So I think uh, I'm not entirely sure what the what the good things to build on this are. I'll build a destroyer because I don't have one. 
Destroyers are good against people with fighters, and there are some fighter-based people. Oh, so if I have two infantry, and then I just build three destroyers because they only cost one, that'd be on five, right? Correct. Yes, that is correct. I'll, ju I'll just do that. Okay. And flip over the planet that I activated. Yep. Just make sure you actually have three destroyers that you can build. Yes. Uh, yes. I can build eight. Yeah. Is there a way to move your space docks, or are they just stuck there now? Uh, on a later turn, when someone uses the uh, construction uh, card, you can choose to build a space dock, and then, since you don't have any in your pile, pull one somewhere off else off of the board in order oh. to um, then put it down somewhere else. Who has the construction card? Elsa. She already played it. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, I'm going it to play... It was the second thing I did. The yeah, yeah. technology card. So I'm going to research one Hooray. technology. I am also Ooh. going to spend one trade goods to activate a second technology. So, question. Uh... Does the plan is to have the technology on them count towards the technology? They count uh, towards you, your prereqs. So if the thing you want has a prerequisite that you don't already meet, you can flip over a planet that has a technology symbol that you're missing, and the entire thing that planet does is supplement that symbol at this time. Alternatively, can you get something else for... Can you spend more money to, if you don't meet their prerequisite? No. Okay, you just have to have it. Yes. So I need... So I did that right. I spent one strategy token and researched one technology. Yes? You, paid you also need four it? money. Oh, I, so a strategy token and four... Of the yellow. Of the yellow. For yep. production or trade good. Done. I'll take plasma scoring. That is my turn. Good okay. So I am going to use a my last tactics token and activate that system there. What are we looking at? Where we go? This one? Yeah. Interesting. Oh, wait. I fucked up. Shit. It's not the first time tonight. It's not even the first time in 10 minutes. So. <laughs> um, that's okay. That's okay. I'm just gonna... Do cruisers have any capacity? They do not. Things with capacity uh, by default are carriers, uh, dreadnoughts yeah. and probably your capital ship. Yeah. Um, war suns uh, also have a uh, capacity, but nobody has war suns. Oh, man, everybody has a move of one. Um, okay, no, that's fine. Unless I'm still gonna. Has war suns. I'm still gonna activate that, and I'm gonna move my okay, cruiser. Good. That'd be real awkward. There, and I can't. I can't bring any fighters or anything with next me. Next turn. Not, not next turn. If only. Yeah. Actually, maybe next turn. That's okay. I fucked up. It's fine. I'll own it. I built the wrong ship. All right. Um, okay. That's my turn. Uh, no, maybe not next turn. Uh, I'm going to play. Do not play any. Um, I can be done, maybe.
I want to play an actual one, play Ghost Ship. And spawn a... Uh, place one destroyer from re your reinforcements in a non-home system that contains a wormhole. Does not contain other player ship. Spooky. Well, damn. Place it there. What? Whoa. That's like Actually, a free you ship. Know what? You know what? No. No, 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 no. Sabotage. It's okay. a Beastie Boys ship. Uh -huh. What are you doing? Let me see this card. <laughs> Uh, another no, when another no. player wow. plays an action card other than sabotage, cancel that action card. Wow. <clears throat> Fucking boffins up in here. What action card did he play? I didn't even get to see it. Ghost ship. Uh, it essentially would have let me spawn a uh, destroyer, and I was going to spawn it into a system where she's close to. You should oh, discard I'm... it um, over on the discard pile. Yeah, I was going to bring it all over there. Kelsa that was a great Kondo card. War, like, it was a great move. The humans but no. versus vampires war is really heating up in a way that makes me super nervous. Right, well, that's my. That's turn. not usually uh, usually how those things go. Uh, when the humans versus vampire war heats up, it it usually is sexy. But maybe that's just me. Like, but not you, Pondo. Just the vampires. Like, oh. saying Pondo's not sexy enough to be a vampire. Wow, I'm Kelsa. saying that uh, I'm nope. not allowed. Don't to even have try to opinion. recover from that. No. Oh yeah, Pondo, <laughs> you got my two trade goods here. Oh okay. Uh, Pondo, not as sexy as a vampire. You can quote me on that. These are my uh, trade that's goods fine, from you. Vampires you... are blood sucking, flesh eating maniacs. Pondo, did you leave these two trade goods for me? Yes, those are okay. me. Yeah. All right. Good. All right. What am I gonna do with this mess? You could bless it. That doesn't sound reasonable at all. Um, yes. Hmm. Uh, hello, uh, trade cats. Yo. Um. So, uh, I I have a proposition for you. Let me. Yeah find you in my notes here. I see. Uh, just a second here. Uh, hold on. I've been propositioned several times today. And I was really hoping to get a cheap laugh off of that one, but this is not the crowd for it, I guess. Hopefully, you at home, audience, yes, you, speaking directly to you, hopefully you got a laugh. A very small one. A pity laugh, really. <laughs> Sorry, that took me a minute to type out. <laughs> Wow. Really? Fascinating. Uh <laughs> Hmm. Wow, that's a interesting offer. Uh Okay, I will okay. accept that trade. Thank you very much, uh, Trade Cats. I need to break one of these. There's your card. Your two. Back and my card, and I shall discard. That's awesome. Okay, so now uh, I'm going to spend a strategy token 
uh, to poop out two infantry on uh, uh, Mechatol Rex as my special being human action. Get get over there. Cards. Humans are pretty special in their own eyes. Yeah, pretty much. All right, I'm just fiddling with buttons now, so go ahead and, and take your turn. Um, why are you not coming with me? Come on. Sorry. Um, Cotton? I'm thinking. Yeah, all right. I just wanted to make sure. Uh, thank you. That's right if I want to do anything else. Can, can I build again? Yes, but you need to activate a different system with the space dock. This one. Very well. Also, last technology, I have space docks two, so I get four plus it. So I can make six, is that correct? Uh, you need to put the space docks two over top of the space dock here. Oh, oh my bad. I got it. Uh, yes, you get production plus four. So six. I don't know if I'm going to build six things, but I just want to make sure I knew that right. I only have three to, it's good to know that you can build six things. Though. Yeah, it was, you just know. in case you need to poop out some emergency be fighters. Aware. What do I even want to make? I just feel like I should make stuff. I'm going to take the two fighters because they're basically, the interview because they're basically free. Oh, I see you bought the advanced space docks. Nice. Very smart. Yeah. Yeah, I was thinking that's, that's pretty nice. That allows you to build, that increases the number of stuff you can poop out, right? It yep. sure does. Yeah. So I have three. What can I build for three? I could build three more destroyers, but I don't really think I should. Probably not. You're probably better off. Building... I could build fighters. You're you're probably better off building like one expensive thing instead. Like a crew carrier. Like maybe a carrier, um, or because mm, you only have three left. I have three. Uh, yeah, probably. I I mean, mm, carriers are only good if you've got stuff to carry with them. You know what I mean? But you do have like people around that that aren't on ships. Yeah, here is a pretty good good choice, I think. Should I save up for the um, dreadnought instead? Should I get that instead? Uh, I mean, if it's trade goods that you can save, then sure. If it's flipping over your planet, so that's not something that you can save, then you're better off spending it. Unless there's something else you wanted to flip those planets for later. I already flipped all my planets for all my science research stuff. I mean, then saving saving that might be a better option. Can I take my token back? Uh, I mean, yeah, if you don't want to build anything, yeah. I guess I could build those two infantry just because I can. But, you know. I mean, it may be better to just save the token, too, because that will carry over till next round if you just pass. <laughs> I'm going to put those two infantry back before I forget to. Do I have to spend a token to spend my turn? Does trading count if I just traded something? No. Uh, if you if you don't spend a token or a card or something, then you would need to pass. Oh, okay. I think I'll pass. But I'll tr I'll make a trade first with. Uh... Never mind. I won't. I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Sorry, I'm confusing myself. I shall pass. <laughs> Sorry. I am also passing. I'm I'm waiting for word. <laughs> You're waiting for word, okay. Uh discussing. Um 
Word from the home front. War on Mechatol Rex. Recently reoccupied. I'm going to go ahead and activate uh, Triple Defenses. And I'm going to activate it on the PDS system that is on Kelsa's Mechatol Rex. Lit. Shock! <clears throat> Unless you have another wait, sabotage. Wait, wait, wait. What are you doing? Sabotage defenses, uh, cripple defenses, action, choose one planet, destroy each PDS on that planet. Uh, I actually do have a second sabotage, so good job fishing that out, because there's only <laughs> like wow. four total in the deck. Uh, I was, uh, to be fair, the second sabotage, I actually drew on, on your politics action, so thank you for that. <laughs> <laughs> the vampires descend on Mechatol Rex, intent on destroying the planetary defenses, but once again are thwarted by human intelligence. <laughs> uh, that'll be my turn. Uh, I'm going to pass too. Cotton already passed. Uh, every suspect to ponder them. Uh, I, I'm... I'm not going to try anything at the moment. Try anything else at the moment. You are not going to try anything. Uh... That's it then, right? Is AP, the only, of... is AP the only one allowed to trade action cards? That's correct. I okay. can facilitate trades. Uh, but I would insist on accepting attacks as part of that. Uh, of course. Okay, so uh, we have all passed then. Yes. That brings us to what the status phase. Oh, speaker, it is up to you to guide us <laughs> through this. So the if you, if yeah, you was... read on your sheet, the first thing we do is score, score objectives. objectives. In turn order, yeah? Uh, yes, so we do it in turn order, uh, just in case that matters. So Spoodnik, you would be first. OK, so I am going to score a secret objective, threaten enemies, have one or more ships in a system that is adjacent to a, another player's home system. That is right here, because it is adjacent. Dun, dun, dun. So that scores me a point. Brilliant. Brilliant move. Incredible. Boop. And I cannot score any public objectives. So. How do I discard this thing? Your card? Yeah. It goes up in the upper left-hand corner, and you put a token on it to indicate that it's your secret objective. Ah. Boop. All right. Uh, now, do I need to? I need to flip one of the cards. I don't mm -hmm. recall what I needed to do. No, now you. So those are the objectives that I scored. Can you score any objectives? I cannot score any objectives at the moment. Okay. So then it goes to. Uh, I don't know. Hit end turn. Who was it? Kelsa. Uh, I believe so. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think. Oh, I sorry. Can score I can. Any of these. I can actually score, but oh, oh. right, well, I right. We're going I'll come in. next. Right, sorry. Don't worry about it. Uh, two or more ships adjacent to Mechatol. No. Uh, three planets that have technology specializations. No, and uh, six planets outside of my home system. Uh, also no. Uh, I've already scored my secret objective, so nope. I can't score any. Uh, don't forget to press uh, end of. Oh no, we have to play. Press end of status phase. Mm, we don't do we that until the end of status phase. I preemptively press mine. Sorry. Okay. Uh, I control six planets in non-home systems, so I can score Damn. that. Yes. Yes. Uh, 
that is it for me. I was last in line, correct? Uh, yes, you were the last mm -hmm. one. That would make it time for the speaker to flip over the next objective. We'll flip over the next objective. Uh, control four planets that each have the same planet trait. Ow. Oh. What a dick. I have three. So that's the, the planet trait like uh, hazardous, um, yeah. um, the blue one, and I have three. the green one. That's so like important. technology. So we, can we complete that now, or does it have to be next turn? It has to be next turn. Yeah. So okay. planet traits are like these red things, or the they're the green. ones that are next to the name of the planet. Deep gotcha. One, two, three, four. Oh, I guess if he does, I didn't see his other I one. do have four. Yes. Shit, I don't. But I can't do it until next turn. Or not. Is it four of the same? Yes. Yeah. Ah! Boo. All right. So next is draw action cards. Uh, you could just press uh, end of status phase and it does it automatically. Oh. Okay. It also sends the thing back to where it needs to be. Okay, I need to discard two cards. Did that uh, gain? Did we gain? Did that gain in uh, how many? How many strategy tokens do we gain? Two, but it should automatically give them to you. It did not. It, oh, it, it does, did. It I see. On top of it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. I see. I'm discarding two cards. Why are you discarding cards? I have more than seven cards. Oh, one, two, three, four. You have five, some shitty six. cards. Okay. I don't want to say who it is, but I'm waiting to hear from someone. You know who you are. Uh, but we still have other things to move forward with as well. Okay. Right? Everybody's got uh, their cards. No one's playing any. What do you mean? I already readied all of our planets again. So, and it's return strategy cards. Okay. Well, Mr. Speaker, it's agenda time. Yeah. What do we need to do for agenda? You. I thought the end end of phase would actually would put the cards in your hands and all that. It did. For all it didn't for me. Uh, you have to press on your. I did. I pressed it. It didn't. Do did that. you press it? Con did you press it and then press confirm? Yeah, you got. Oh, the confirm button didn't pop up. Okay. There you go. There you go. I gotta get rid of one card. Yep. Where are we putting these returned cards? They just automatically return. You mean the discarded cards that go over yeah. here in the upper left? <clears throat> Mr. Speaker, please draw an agenda card, then read it out loud and place it on the table for us. That's right over here. Uh, okay. For the speak, the speaker rolls one die. If the result is six to ten, each player may research two technology. If the roll is one to five, destroy all units in Mechtel Rex's system, and each player with the units in the system adjacent to Mechtel systems for three of his units in each of those systems. Okay. All right. So if you vote for this, wow. Uh, everybody gets a chance for technology, and uh, on the other hand. It could also destroy everything in Mechatol Rex. I and, feel like this and definitely... Stuff, oh, and, stuff <laughs> Risk adjacent, and, reward. and stuff adjacent to Mechatol Rex. Uh, let us open the debate then, Mr. Speaker. Or... So the way this works, or, just... Hold on. Okay. Just so we're all clear on how this works before we get too deeply into it. So what's going to happen is... Uh, we can all now make traits. We can all try to say lobby for or against. You have um, political power equal to 
uh, the blue numbers of all of your planets. You cannot spend trade goods for this vote. There's going to be two different votes. So if you spend all of your political power now, you will not have it next round. Also, if you have a rider, this is the time that you would want to play it. Uh, when you place a rider, you cannot vote in the agenda. Instead, you pick out loud the uh, whether you think it will be for or against, and then it will tell you what you get um, based on if you succeed. If you fail, nothing happens. I have a trade rider. There's a thing. Okay, so if you would like to play that instead of being able to vote, I do. Uh, technically, we go around from Pondo. Oh, uh, so, does AP, do you have a, tr a rider that you would like to do? If not, flip over your rider token. I'm uh, red. You're red. I don't have a thing called rider, so. Okay. No. Okay, so Cotton, you pull yours out there, uh, and yours says. Uh, Predict it out loud. If you are correct, gain five trade goods. That's a pretty good deal. I predict that it's going to be voted for it. For it. Okay. Uh, Spoodnik, do you have a writer? I do, but it's not one I, that I think would be beneficial for this vote, for this agenda. All right. Uh, I have a writer. Uh, my writer is a technology writer. Uh, it, uh, I am going to, if I get it right, then I gain one research, I research one technology. So I'm going to hedge my bets here and I'm going to say no, that they, it's voted against because that way, if we win, I probably get technology. And if we lose, then I definitely get technology. So there's a 50% chance to get technology. Yeah, there's a 50% chance. So, so All either I get, stuff explodes. so, so, but can I say, so before, I'm fine with that. Before, it, before we get too far into riders, I, I do have my my race's special ability, quash. Oh, and yeah. Do you want to do that instead of the agenda rubbish? is revealed? You may spend one token from your strategy pool to discard the agenda and reveal one agenda from the top of the deck, and we vote on that one instead. Quashing this? Man, I, it's just it's so high risk, and I I stand to the technology would be nice. But I, I stand to lose a lot more than you do. That's um, true. I would love for it to pass, and I would love for it to uh, not blow up and us all get two technologies. Uh, but if you want to quash it, then definitely do that. Theoretically, you would want to do that before we start announcing writers. Yeah. But obviously, this is the first time we've gotten to this well, point. Right. I, game, I was so. trying to uh, announce it, and then we started talking about the rules, so I didn't want to like interrupt. That um, is very fair. We... We did kind of go over that, and I should have remembered that's your power. So. That's okay. Um, no, I'm not going to quash this one. I'm going to let it ride. I, I mean, really, I would only lose. Now, would I lose my PDS as well, or just the cruiser? Um, you have a bad it's roll? just the ship. Just so the ships? You, you would lose. No, it's three units in each of those systems. Yeah, so, so I would lose you all would of lose, my shit. Uh, you would lose both of those. Yeah, that's fine. I'm not going to quash it. We'll, we'll let it ride. And like... Uh, Cotton would lose the space dock, and that's fine. That's the one I wanted to move. <laughs> <laughs> well, there we go. Okay, so uh, I have now put my rider out there. Uh, Pondo, you have a chance to add a rider as well if you like. What's, what's your rider, Elsa? Uh, my rider says if you guys vote no on this, I get a technology. If you vote yes, then we have 50 50 chance of either everything blowing up on Mechatol or uh everyone getting two technologies. So basically I'm just hedging, hedging my bets here. Gotcha. Okay. Now, how does influence work again in regards to the votes? Because you said there was two rounds of voting? Yes. yes. So we're going to vote on this card right now, um, mm -hmm. starting with AP and going around to those people who are still in, which is going to be um, you and Pondo. Mm -hmm. um, Pondo as the speaker is going to go last. And if there is a tie, Pondo, you just declare who the winner is. So if AP puts forth like <laughs> five votes and then Spudnik puts forth five opposing votes, you don't have to spend any of your votes. You can just be like, the one I want wins. So it's, if I'd make votes, that expends the planet for the, the round, essentially? Yes. Okay. So but what's the second round of voting then? Like, what would I be saving influence for? The points? second agenda. 
You don't oh, know what that two, card is. Oh, yes. we pull two agendas for Correct. the agenda phase. Ah, yes. So, so okay. you don't know what that next card is going to be. But you can also quash that card too. Well, I mean, so can we talk about if we're going to, how we're going to vote and then spend influence accordingly on this first vote? Yes. Uh, yes. Okay. We can openly talk. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to vote for it to pass AP, are you? Uh, the Emirates of Hakan will remain neutral in this vote. What does that mean? That means we're not going to spend any voting on this vote. Oh, so you're not going to vote at all? That's correct. My turn, which is right now, I will spend by not voting. I have nothing mm -hmm. to contribute to this argument. How about all you, Pondo? possible outcomes benefit us. I think, yeah, Pondo, you're probably going to vote yes on this one, huh? Yes, uh, and I don't have to spend anything because you already spent stuff on it. Yeah, I'm just so, gonna so spend... if you say if you uh if you trust Pondo to say yes, you don't have to spend anything. And at a tie of zero to zero, Pondo would just declare the win winner. Oh, okay. Uh if you don't trust him, spend an amount of influence. How about that... I just spend one? I'm gonna spend one influence okay. just to show my intent. I but see. nothing crazy. Now do I do I have to flip the card over? Yes, you have to exhaust but, it. Now, will this get refreshed during the next round? Or am I losing production points? So they will refresh before we move into yes. the like moving the stuff around round. world. But this vote, they're spent for the next vote, too. Sure, sure, sure. I get that. OK. Yeah, I'm just okay, going to spend so one. You're going to roll a die now, and let's see what happens. I'm, I'm going to roll a die? No, speaker well, roll. No, we no. still need to know whether Pondo die. is going to. Okay. My yes. vote is four. Okay. okay. Uh, it was going to be four to begin with. Because but how many planets are you committing to that? Huh? Technically, you don't need to commit any because the vote is one to nothing. Yeah, don't don't commit anything to it. Just not, be like, not and then it passes. Very well. Let's get this die roll then. Uh, congratulations on your victory, Cotton. So what's the good roll? <laughs> Yay! Uh, it is a nine. Uh, that's unfortunate. That means we uh, on get a two nine, techs. everybody gets two technologies. Was, and we don't have hoping, to spend anything? You don't have to spend anything. I was hoping that was going to be the better result that I wanted. but. And uh, Cotton, you also get your five trade goods. I already got them. I'm rolling in the dough. Nice. Oh, that's, uh, that's I'm awesome. I'm totally fine with you. See, I, I knew if I'd like played that rider and been like, yeah, if we all say yes, I'll get a technology, whether Mechatol explodes or not, no one would vote for that. You can dread this... not to. Let's see oh, here. Shit. I'm taking now, the. No, you do need to have the prereqs, but you don't need to spend anything for it. Oh. Oh, I see. I see. Okay. I'm oh. confused about the pre, pre, prereqs. Like, what, what do I need for it? I'm taking L4 okay, disruptors. Okay. So. You currently uh, have. Do you see on the left side of some cards, they have a number of symbols in the corner? Yes. Because you told me I can spend one more than yes, what I have. Yes. You're analytical. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. so I've just spent, I just bought one tech. I just now, don't know how can I tech. use these five that I have as a prereq for so, my sixth one? Yes. Beautiful. And so Cotton, on the right hand uh, side so, of your, of your cards, they have the big version of that same symbol. So for each one of those big versions of the symbol that you have out on cards you already own, that is, uh, counts towards your prereqs for whatever So with my other thing, I can pretty much buy anything. Uh, yes. pre pretty much. Yeah. Except I need another one of these green things to buy the three. You, you would need, need another red uh, card to get a three red card, but yes. You would but need another a red card. I have a red planet. Oh, uh, yes. You could, flip the you could flip the red planet to count. If you flip that red planet, you could get War Suns or the level three red card right now. Han's just like, we're super peaceful here. We have teleportation technology. And but I could also, also the buy this star. armor and a war zone without putting a planet. Yes. If I felt like it. Yes, you could. If you felt like it. Yes, you absolutely could. I am going to take PDS2. Yeah, I took Gravity Drive and I upgraded my Dreadnought. That's a bold move with that Dreadnought. There's a reason behind it. Yeah, because you're about to shit out Dreadnoughts. I'm not. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> That's why. It's it's actually not why. 
It's because uh, so I, didn't I, have, I didn't have the prerequisite for the to upgrade my cruiser, but I could get the dreadnought, so I did that. Uh, so I took Sarween tools and PDS two, just so we're all on the same page of what we're getting. Bondo, what did you take? I took dreadnought two and. Uh... Sorry, I didn't hear you after Dreadnought 2. You cut out. Dreadnought 2 and uh, L4 disruptors. During an invasion, units cannot use space cannon against your unit. Ooh, wow. That's nice. fucking cheesy. All right. Bono just went full military build. I took Gravitation Laser System and Destroyers 2. Kelsa started it. I mean, I literally did. I'm not even going to deny it. Uh, so now that that has been resolved, uh, Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, reveal the next card that we are going to vote on. Uh, elect hazardous planet. Attach this card to elected planet's card, then destroy one infantry on that planet. Resource value of this planet is increased by two. Okay, so the way this is, the way that works, is. Everyone is going to assign an amount of votes to a particular specific planet. Whenever planet gets the most vo votes, will get just flat up plus two to its construction value. Now, uh, can so we make, do this on do wanna... runs? No, because be it needs to be planet. a hazardous planet. That has to be the one with the red triangle. Uh, well, then I'm going to quash this one, and we're going to draw another card. Wow, okay. okay. Look at spend Mr. Uh, spend your token and flip a new card. Mr. Speaker, tear down this wall. That's fine. Uh, when this agenda is revealed, if there are no laws in play, discard this card and reveal another agenda. Hey, bring out, <laughs> bring out the next agenda, Mr. Speaker. Do it. Jesus. Here we go. Elect player. The elect player gains this card. When the owner of this card resolves the primary or secondary ability of the technology strategy card, he does not need to spend research to research technology. Holy Jeebus. Uh, you have the option to quash this one as well. Do I? Just so you know. Well, yeah, because I still have a command token. But then you will be out of command tokens, and you Correct. probably don't want to do that. But just, just saying. No, we'll let this one ride. OK. So how much voting power does everyone have? I have nine in total at the moment. I have. You have a lot. I have 12. I think I have. I have 13. The blue ones? The blue ones, yeah. 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Ooh. And what do you got, AP? Sixteen. Sixteen. Ah. Oh, oof. And how many hazard planets are over here in your area? A hazard planet. We're on a different None. one. None. Oh no, there's one. This is one. this is Minister of Sciences. This is the owner. Oh, 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 right, 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 right. We changed it up. Minister of Science. Uh I don't want anybody to have that. <laughs> but I can't get rid of it, so. Uh now we check for riders. Does anyone have a rider? I do no. not. I do. Um, do you think you can predict who we're going to vote for out the thing, of the, the thing five is, players? The thing is, is that if I do predict who is correct, the benefit that occurs is not worth it to me against the outcome of that agenda, so I'm not going to play it. I have a feeling the rider that I have I feel applies to a certain specific set of agendas, mm -hmm. and this is not one of those agendas. So I'm going to hold on to that for now. Okay, yeah, that that makes perfect sense to me. So now, when we go to vote for this, AP's votes count more than anybody else's. So he just votes for himself, and he wins it automatically because he has more. Fun I fun. mean. Only if no one else votes for anyone besides themselves. Because although AP has the most amount of votes here, if two of us team him up together, we could definitely oust him. That's interesting. Uh, Cotton has a lot of money, which she could just 
hand out to people if she wanted them to vote her way. Just, just throwing that out there. <laughs> so, I'll tell you what. Wait, why are you giving money to AP? <laughs> so he'll vote for me. Because you want him to vote for you? Yeah, I really like technology. Yeah, so well, I was just going to propose something to you. You okay. know, You know what you and I have been talking about, yeah? Uh-huh. I will throw all of my influence your way if you allow me to keep what I was going to swoop in on and you take the other one, which is the single, but still gets you the point. I would think about that, but if I let you get that one instead of the one the one that you have and get the other one, you will be able to outvote me in any agenda. And right now we're even. That is true. Mm. What, what can I do to sweeten that deal? Is there anything I can do to sweeten that deal? Honestly, I just, I don't think so right now. Okay, then I, I will, I'll stick to my swoop in, swoop out promise. Um, I'm, I'm very sorry, I do. No, I'm making I, myself a circle of protection and that's in it, if you haven't noticed. Oh no, I get it, I, I, I totally get it. Uh, and you kind of called me on the influence play, that's fine. Uh, I Wait, was that your goal? <laughs> no, it it wasn't until just now when I was seeing how this whole with this agenda thing came out. Uh, you'll recall I was talking about swooping in and swooping out before this whole agenda phase. So, and now I know how it works. But that's fine. I'll I'll stick to what we said before. Um, do we want AP to get? Do we want the Space Kitties to get the technology? Allow me to announce the completion of a deal. Oh my. For four trade goods, I am throwing 16 planets worth of influence behind the universities of Jewel Moore. I'm telling you my votes up front and we have sealed it with a trade deal. Therefore, I cannot go back on it. I'm letting y'all know you basically can't beat me and Cotton unless all of you vote against it together. I mean, I kind of have a thing going on with the uh, universities right now, and I don't want to... Sabotage that? Yeah. I don't want to mess that up. I don't want the universities to have all of that technology, though. That's but it's fun. It's literally the only thing I'm doing. It, it is literally. I'm is not attacking literally. nobody. I'm leaving everybody alone. I'm <laughs> just, the technology true. cards are fun. They are fun. That is true. That is true. I, I don't, I'm, I'll say I, I don't have any problem with the universities researching more technology. And it's only if she is able to pull that technology strategy card. That's the only time that, that, that this agenda benefits. So it's not a given that every time they are going to pull the uh, the technology strategy card, right? I believe it includes if she uses the secondary ability. Yes, it does. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, so it's just every time. Holy yes. God. So if someone pulls, oh, yeah, you just secondary. automatically get yeah. it. Yeah. I mean, okay, whatever. I'm fine with it. I don't. I don't care. It doesn't bother me. Who's the next one? I don't know. God, that's okay. You go to vote. That's and then so I think powerful, it's... Elsa. So uh, has has AP officially voted? Then uh, I don't know when I'm supposed to vote. Right? I vote first right, because right I'm now. to the left. Correct. Uh, the hop and flop and Emirates of Hakan spend all of sixteen of their votes. To vote for their good ally and great friend, uh, the Universities of Jolinor, to receive this esteemed position. As per our agreement. Now, uh, Cotton, you vote? 
So if I flip over my planets, I can't use them in the next You thing. can. They'll resupply no, they will at, the reset end of this vote. at the end of this vote. Then I will use all 13 of my votes to vote for myself. That gives you 29. Okay. All right, Spoonik, who will you vote for? Elizabeth Swan. From Pirates of the Caribbean. All right. I've never I, seen those I movies. Get you. Oh my god! Movies. Oh my god! Spootnik! The scene is literally right out of that movie. I've never <laughs> seen them. Everyone always votes for themselves. I think I've seen like bits and pieces of them on like USA Network. You're or something. missing out. Johnny Depp fucking kills it. Yeah, he's a drunk pirate. I get it. No, he listen. You don't understand. He kills it. I don't and know what kills sexy himself, drunk and pirate. And then he also kills it. I I'm just gonna abstain from the vote. Okay. Can I do that? Well, uh, you can. Uh, I'm going to. How many voters did you had? Only they nine. Pondo. Twenty nine. So if you and Sputnik got together, and then if I agree to put in some votes, make it to at least a tie, I can say who gets it. Yes, but unfortunately, Sputnik has already. Uh, Decline. The problem is, well, so. the problem is that if, if I hadn't have spent that damn one influence on that first vote, I actually <laughs> had one more influence than Cotton, and I might have been able to make a play on that. But well, you would still have not been able to with Kelsey and you, because if you had, how much was your one planet worth as influence? Just one. It was with yeah. one. So you so and Kelsey combined would have had at minimum twenty six. You have you have twelve. Er, yes, fourteen. Right. So right, right, right. if I if I have if I have thirteen, what do you have? Uh, Kelsey? Right. Kelsey has twelve. I have twelve. So it's twenty-five. Cod has twenty-nine. Nine. I have nine. Cod so, is at twenty-nine. Yeah, Cotton's at twenty-nine. You 29, and Kelsey together could between have between the two. Uh, I'll I'll put in for Kelsa. Wow, thirteen. Okay. I was gonna suggest put in for Pondo, but okay. Yeah, because you just lost my vote now. I was gonna say it's fine. It's fine. I mean, really, a vote for Kelsa is a, is a no vote because I know that Pondo was not gonna allow her to take it. So, uh, I mean, if you put it for me, I would have probably considered taking it. Well, of course you would have taken it, and then your armies would have run rampant, technology wise, all over the board. Also true. That's very very minimum. I would have to re reserve the strategy one for it. If I decide that or keep it, I, I took what I feel is a neutral vote because I know that <laughs> Kelsa would not win. But I, uh, I would go ahead and Pondo, spend that would thirteen on myself because I might as well to bring it uh, or sorry twelve on myself to bring us up to twenty five. Twenty five uh, for the wonderful humans. Uh, I don't think I can afford to bribe. Uh, Pondo on this. How much of my blood do you require, <laughs> vampires? <laughs> I'm going to need a lot. Uh, what do you have that interests me? Mainly the planet you stole from me. Uh, hold on just one second here. I need to <laughs> double check something. Uh... can't actually read that by the way this part of the game makes me love this game even more yes, this is this is this is amazing this is the <laughs> this best is part of the game cool. i am completely for sale a total mercenary <laughs> spooning uh, was like can you do that can you just not legal. vote arthur and i was like that's correct i'm not going to vote at all <laughs> I, was like, what? I don't care <laughs> how could you do that okay so All right, yeah. Uh I'll 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 take your deal. Two Good trinkets. Hmm. 
Get you have hand. to you have to right click and draw. It doesn't go into the hand for some reason. That's okay. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and and play it right now. Uh, and cast an additional five votes for my outcome, bringing us up to thirty. Holy shit! Okay. So they're at twenty nine. You're at thirty. Mm hmm. Deciding factor, Pondo. So, so now. Pondo, you actually have to spend some stuff. Yeah, I'll just spend one. Make it 30. And then, and then be and the then decide. That's okay. What deals do you have to make? I mean, <laughs> I still have two trade goods left. Would you like them? All right, well, I think he's asking everyone. You're going to need a little more than two trade 30. goods. I mean, I'm not giving you back Mechatol. It's not happening. All right, I'm giving it to God. Okay, well, I had to try. I could have just held on to that for later, but it was more fun this way. God, that was so good. Amazing place, guys, all around. Uh... How many agenda cards is there? Uh, two, that was the second one, we're done. So now everyone refresh your planets. How do I do that? Oh, so just back over. over. Yeah. Let's see if I could get something out of it. Uh... And then, uh, as the speaker, Pondo, you are first to choose. Wait, so do I get this card? Yes. Uh, what do I want? Yeah, Pondo, tell me what you want, what you really, really want. Let me think if I can do the thing I want to do. <laughs> Okay. I'm going to take leadership. Yep. Incredible grab. Exemplary play. Rondo. Yes. All right, before I make my pick, Pondo, can I ask why you need leadership? I'm not going after you at all. Okay. Uh, I've already told you what my main objective is. I yeah. concur that that is a thing that you have said. Do I need land units to invade a planet? Yes. Like to control planets? Yes, yes, right you after? do. Okay. To, to land on them the first time, yeah. Yep. Sorry, I was actually going to take leadership. This has completely tilted me. Uh, oh, no. I'm so sorry. Uh, I, I needed the initiative mainly. I will take Imperial. Oh. It does have a lot built up. On that's it. mostly to deny anyone else from taking Imperial. I don't know what that does. I'm actually going to take technology. Shocker. Yeah, it's not really surprising to anybody, Super given that you shocking. now get two free technologies every round you take it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take politics. Wait, take this, this, this isn't a one-time thing? No, that's permanent no. for the rest for of the game. Oh, oh, now I That's why I back. charged you four for it, because it's a very significant shift in voting. Well, I figured, you know, you charged me four for it, and I would still be saving two on my technologies for a round. Yes. So I thought it was still a deal. Okay, I would have given you more. It was a great kids. deal. I uh, I was okay with you having it. No one's okay with me having it. I don't know why. Well, you kind of just took over the planet. That my main I'm objective just take for the warfare. whole thing was. <laughs> Let's see how just, just remember that I voted for you to get that technology card. I will, and I do, and we've been best friends. We since have the been very, very beginning. good friends. Everything is fine. Everything is fantastic. Uh, so we're ready and, to go. Uh, Pondo, you're first. Just a second. Uh, Kelsa. Yeah. I can trade strategy cards with you. You can trade strategy cards with yes, me? Yes, using one of my technologies. Do you have any uh, interest in the Imperial card? Well, I do have some interest in the Imperial card. 
I don't think uh huh um you would also have to give me three trade goods i'm aware that's why this would be a costly trade hmm no i think Given my current board position, that warfare is going to be more profitable for me as far as points are concerned. Mm -hmm. um, thank you for your generous offer, though. It's very generous. Incredibly. I mean, to be fair, uh, you don't need my permission to do it. I know. but <laughs> Just throwing that out there. But I was just interested if you were willing to pay anything to receive a victory point for Mechatol Rex. Ah. Uh, Yes. Um, fair, but no. All right. Uh, I need I need other different victory points. One first. final note, Sputnik. I think you should bring your politics card onto your sheet so that we don't, we get that. Why? Doesn't doesn't it need to do that in order to activate all the table special abilities? Nope. No. Oh, I see. I'm just putting it there because I have a lot of shit on my thing and I don't have room for it. Very well. Now, the trade I'm wanting to do, I don't think can be accomplished on my turn. The question is, do you do you have to invade on the turn that you arrive on a planet? Yes. If, after the space so, combat? So after the space combat, if you do not invade, you cannot invade until the next year, because in order to invade, you have to activate the system. Okay. Unless you have like a, a action card that lets you pull back a token okay i think that um, card is called surprise action something like that because what i'm wanting to do will require yeah so i think i have to wait until uh someone else's go so i think what i'm going to do is go ahead and pop my leadership ability And I will also I think the most I can spend is six. Uh, no, I can get nine. So I will do play. Hmm. Primary. So I'll get three tokens. I want to get three tokens as well. I'm going to go in here for some tokens. I will spend uh, three, four, five, six. Uh, I'm spending nine. I'm just going to spend six. Not correct. I thought that was how many I was spending. I get three tokens. I just flipped over Mechatol and took three tokens. Yeah, I flipped uh, nine influence. Sorry, that's tokens. two tokens. Yeah, I was going to say it should only be two. Everyone was saying three, and I just jumped on the bandwagon. <laughs> <laughs> I will end my turn then. Do we have the turn thing up there? Okay. All right, so I am going to use a tactic token to activate this system here. And my dreadnoughts which has two movement now, is going to take a infantry and invade. And take Where control. Are we going? Oh, we're over here. All right, so what is that? Tor, Torcan. Oh, wait, not Tor. What is it? Ah! Not Tor, uh, not Torkan. Oh no, I did it again. God darn it. Mm -hmm. I will wait for you to return. Sorry, sorry. Did I already skip to the next person in line's turn? Uh, yeah, sorry, that's so annoying. I did, I'll, I will hold off on taking my turn the, until you get the, back. The, the X's for the 
search deck and for the window are literally right next to each other, <laughs> which is annoying as shit. Okay. So not, not, yeah, Torcan is one that I wanted. God darn it. All right. Uh, search Torcan. And that is my turn. Okay. Now it is my turn. I'm going to uh, activate Mechadol. And I'm not moving any ships there. I'm just going to um, build. I am going to build Genesis, my flagship. Uh, it has a special ability that at the end of the status phase, I just poop out an inventory. Just right out the butt of my spaceship. It's fine. Don't worry about it. So that's two, four, six seven because i have sarween tools which gives me two more left to buy something um i'm going to spend one more uh to build also two fighters in the system and that's my turn Wakan just got up. Is it her turn? It is. Yeah. Sounds about right. Hey, how do I do the little arrow pointy thing? Hit tab. Yeah. So, to... Kelsa, do I own this planet? This one right there? Uh, yes, yeah. that's in your that is in your home system. Oh, that's my home system. Okay. okay. So, um, For some reason you can, I thought this was. You can tell because it has this uh, your faction symbol in the corner. Yeah. So I'm a I'm a dumbass, but that's that's fine. That's fine. What makes you a dumbass this time? I could have scored a point last round, but I, I didn't. I thought I needed something else, but I'm a dummy dumb. Yep. Okay. Now, the thing about, uh, I mean, what was, well, if it wasn't one of the public objectives? Yep. Uh, That's fine. I'll just score at the end of this round. Not a big deal. How many rounds I are don't, there? That, that particular planet would not count towards any of the current objectives. No, I know. I know. I know. But Okay. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. I've been doing drug deals with Cotton to get over here, and I didn't need to. But that's fine. No big deal. Uh, Ponder, to answer your question... Uh, the game ends once all of the objectives have been revealed, if no one has scored 10 points by then. Yes, okay. it's either one person gets 10 points, uh, or potentially multiple people getting 10 points, but two people getting points at the same time is really rare. Uh, or whoever has the most points after all objectives have been revealed, um, then whoever that could be a tie as well. Well, we reveal the last objective and play one more round, I'm assuming, yeah? And at the end of that round, if no one has 10 points, the game is over. Is that correct? I'll be honest, I've never seen it go that long. Someone yeah, has always yeah. got 10 points first. It would be surprising. I, uh, I mean, this version of the game has only been out for um, 
like a uh, little over a year. Yeah, I was gonna say just about a year. Um, and I've played it, I wanna say probably half a dozen times. Damn. Least, um, in that time. Uh, and I've never seen that come up. It's, it's always but I, w- I would think though, like, I would think that would be what it is. Like the last object gets revealed people would still get it. You, it seems like there would be one more round to where someone could try to score that objective. Otherwise, what's the point? I'm going to go theoretically. We'll... Yeah. I'm gonna pay... Are you activating technology? Yeah, I'm going to yes. pay a secondary and for the research. Oh, yeah. So it's a, a strategy token and four trade goods, yeah? Yes. Okay. Uh, I don't have any... I don't have enough goods to spend, so I'm going to go ahead and pass. Uh, give me a minute. I, I am going to do it. I'm just, I need to look at shit. Uh, I am researching but not to uh That's interesting. Oh, so I have this uh, faction specific card. The symbol on it is like the technology symbol. Does that mean that I have to control a planet that has that symbol on it in order to take it uh no you would need to have at least one technology that already has that symbol that you've already bought but none of the other technologies have that oh i see i see i see i see if you have a planet with that technology symbol you could flip it over in order to spend that planet to meet the prerequisite uh since you don't already have any green technologies 